to Minecraft Make Construction City Edition with me, Peter Plum, and me, Harley Westy, and so this is our official 10th episode. Yeah, so this is 10 episodes of Minecraft City Edition, wow, considering how much stuff we've done in 10 episodes. And was it pretty amazed, Corey? Are you not kind of amazed? How far have I actually come in 10 episodes? It is quite, um, quite fulfilling just seeing how big the city has gotten. Definitely. I think we haven't we, what the hell was that? I think I just ran something over there. But um, I'll just park my uh, car back here. I think I'll leave the engine running since the battery is uh, quite dead, nearly dead on this thing. Um, so anyway, I think first of all, I think City Hall. You've done a few modifications to City Hall, uh, haven't you? Corey? I have done a few modifications. Yes. So what we have here, so we have obviously it's now a sealed in unit, and we have these amazing carriage doors that sort of you know complete the building. Um, Admittedly, you can see. What is this here? This is a chiselled. Oh, I meant to uh, fill that in. Oh, that was the um, sticky piston, wasn't it? So yeah. Um, evidently, Corey hadn't quite got around to filling that in. But uh, yeah. So we've got um, the main city hall. Nothing's really changed too much. So if you guys are just sort of you know coming in here for the first time, this will be new to you guys. If you've you know kept up with it since the beginning, none of this will be new to you. Uh, so we've also got this area here, just with some computers and stuff. We've got like a, like a mini McMorgan section here. There was meant to be burgers and stuff in here, but we never really got around to doing that. We've got a TFC area over here and some more computers. We've then got an area back here, which has te teleportation to the mayor's room, I believe. It doesn't really work. We've then also got the viaduct system. I'm not quite sure why the uh, teleporters don't really work. Um, if you look in this chest drawer, by the way, you'll find a brochure on City okay. Hall. I'll just go and show everyone the, the mayor's office first. So this is obviously me being Mayor Plum. Um, this is also my office at the very top of City Hall. I can see out. I've got some storage, some gold. You know, it's decorated quite nicely actually for a City Hall. I think. I think um, you're going to want letting in, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. So I'll let you in. So, so you can come and have a look around. Like so for some reason, this teleportation system doesn't really work. Um, Hopefully the. Uh, Teleportation stations at the train stations don't break as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely. So I'm going to go and leave the mayor's office. We've got a bit of a waiting room over here. We've got like a private area here with, I believe that has access to viaducts and stuff, I believe. Maybe, I don't know. Is that? I don't think there are actually. There's nothing in there. Bear dues. So where's this brochure, by the way? Uh, well, if I go behind reception, I can grab it out for you. Oh, I see where it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it back for you. There you go. Okay, so I've got, uh, here it is, so CH brochure, so, city, so it's just basically got some information on City Hall. If you guys want to pause and read that, I'll let you guys do that now. So I'll put that back in there, just so we can give it out to any customers or anything. I think I've still got the brochure for, um, what do you call it? The train, train station, station one. Yeah. Okay, so City Hall, should we, should we review these building chronologically? Oh. Built with it? Uh, yeah, so what did we do in episode 2? I think that was the power station. Yes, of one of our... I'm pretty proud of the power station, actually. It's a pretty cool build. Um, so the power station, you've also got this... We sort of built it in terms of... Um, I mean, I suppose you can kind of park here and walk to the rece to the reception area. So, you know, they're kind of linked, but not really. Um, so this is also the reception area. Got some seats and stuff here to wait for So you've got an appointment as well. I've uh, got the reactor storage area here. So this reactor, it's basically 75% full. I feel like given how much power we've actually got, we're probably going to go and shut this reactor down, actually. So I can kind of show you a bit of a reactor shutdown. To be honest, it's kind of cool, actually. Um, so when you hit the shutdown button, basically what happens is Everly's, it stops producing power. So it, you see, the, reaction, the power generation rate is slowly going down. Right, but the field input rate is also going to go down, and basically when this field input rate drops, this is basically what we're looking for. Um, to basically, when this hits zero, it, they have, evidently there's not going to be any power going in to keep the reactor stable, so that's when you know that it's basically stopped itself. So you see the temperature's dropping, and the containment field's dropping, the saturation's going up, so this thing's going to basically go up until it hits 100. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this guy come down a little bit, and when he's just about to shut down, I'll resume the video. Okay guys, so the reactor is basically just about to shut down now. I mean, personally, I think it's pretty cool when it shuts down. So the temperature's basically stopped in it. Um, 
the saturation's high, the containment field is just about to drop off now as you can see. So I'll stop talking because it does sound pretty cool when it shuts down actually. There we go, so that's the reactor shut down. I can't actually interact with it yet until it's actually cooled down a bit. So what I might do is, because I think I have been refueling this guy periodically, but what I might do is wait for this guy to cool down and just see how much wear is actually on this reactor given how we've, you know, it's, we've, got, we've got a lot of power out of this guy. We've had this reactor for 351 days, is yep. it? Th yep, 351 days since we've had an accident now. It's pretty impressive, I'm not going to lie. So are you sh might cool down enough yet? Nearly. So I'll wait for this guy to cool down and I'll be right back. Okay, so the reactor is nearly cooled down now, it's just above 100, 100 degrees C. So I believe, there you go, so now it's basically cooled down now, it's basically at, not quite room temperature. So to be fair, it, had actually, it has actually used quite a bit of fuel, it's got a bit, quite a bit of, it's got a little bit of chaos in it. So it outputs chaos fragments, and then obviously inputs the awakened draconian blocks. I don't think it really needs refueling if I'm honest, I might just, uh, so it, I'll show you one thing, I'll, I'll quickly show you it booting up, but then I'll quickly shut it down again, because we really don't need this guy to run given how much power we have. And that's basically what you guys are used to, so if I then, uh, there you go, I'll shut him down again, and he's just, yeah, he's just basically going to immediately shut down. So I think that's enough with our reactor, guys, I think we can basically just leave this guy Should to we, do his um, own thing now. show the guys the viaduct system? If they've just joined us, they might not know. I mean, the viaducts, they're Quite basically just like the, the future armor tubes, so I'll go and, uh, uh, I believe I can't use them until you're done. Uh, so if I go to, say, City Hall, for instance, oh, we can use them at the same time. So I think I'm going straight to City Hall with mine. So I can see, if I go into F5 mode, I see they're basically to start the, the tubes from future armor, really. Um, I think next build was our next build was the petrol station, wasn't it? For McCrayley. It was. So do you think um, yeah, I might fitting to the petrol station should we drive there? Yes, I'm definitely gonna do that. I think we have. I've got 92 percent fuel, so I've got quite a bit to be honest. But uh, well, I believe the type of car that you're in can actually be refueled by the petrol station. Yeah, I think mean, all the custom ones from the car mart can. I, the Mr. Crayfish's one can't. They don't actually use fuel, but these ones do. I'm, I'm gonna assume the crayfish ones are electric. I mean, they they, they sound it actually. I mean, they don't they don't sound like any sort of conventional engine I've ever really uh, used before. So if I go here and I just uh, turn the engine off, so yeah, we're using biodiesel in these in these cars actually. Hmm. So it's the battery. Yeah, the battery's 100% charged in this guy, so I can go and take him back. Be less the main gist of the petrol station. I'll go and show you guys in the shop in a second. I believe this is probably going to be quite a long video. We're already on eight minutes here, so... Uh... So I'm in the shop right now, and we have quite a big selection of things you can actually buy. Yeah, so I believe it's a Westy Mart, if I remember. It is a Westy Mart, yes. So I've just got, like... Well, it's, it's, to be fair, it's quite luxury for a uh, petrol station, if you ask me. In terms of got wine, fruit, milk... Fish, bread, cakes, beer in the coolers, sunglasses. Should we uh, show the guys some of the some stuff ATMs. that we're selling? Uh, yes. So we've got some uh, Polaroid cameras, which are pretty cool. Uh, so we've got uh, so we've got the re cash register here. We've got the ATM. We've got the toilets at the back, which are pretty cramped, if I'm honest, but they function as toilets. I mean, it is a petrol station. We've got the refueling area. Um, well, the main tank is under here, where the fuel actually comes from and immediately refills um, all the pumps. This is also the refueling area, so a lorry will come in and then dump his fuel into there and it will go straight into the lines. Next, I want to say, we had the motel next, I want to say. I want to say motel is episode four, yeah. Yes, episode so the motel. Episode four was a weird one though because uh, part two came out after episode six. Yeah, but I believe that was just because we hit the uh, part two we couldn't actually. Um, I believe it crashed when we re 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 uh, we recorded it originally, so we had to kind of uh, redo it again. So this is the uh, sort of the outdoor area. We've then got normal suites and we've also got the plum suite. So I'll show you, show you guys in the main reception. Got some NPCs and stuff. Uh, just you know, it's a nice little reception. Main car park. 
Here's just the standard sweet. I believe all the sweets are the same, aren't they? The standard ones. Yeah, I mean, we'll show you two just to see if you can spot any differences between them. But I believe they are basically the same. Yeah, so they're near enough identical. Do you feel like we've lost the paintings that were on the wall? I don't know. I think eyes. No, eyes. Are, the paintings are still in my room. But the standard room seems to be missing this. Because this is the executive plum suite. And you've got the executive Howling Westy suite underneath. Which I must say I'm quite proud of. Yeah, I do quite. I mean, the chairs I can't say look overly comfortable. The wiggly chairs. But, um. I mean, it kinda. I can like the, the Westy suite. Yeah, it's a bit more retro than the plum suite. Plum suite seems to be all high tech and new. Yeah, agreed. Um, the last area to probably show you in here would be the bathroom. So we've got the baths, we've got the sink there, more sinks, and still some standard toilets. Next, I want to say we built the, the factory. city hall. City hall. What was episode one? I was going to say the oil refining station. Oh yeah. I'd consider the factory part of the uh, power plant now though. It's I mean, yeah. blended into one for me. I mean there's a bit of a texture glitch that goes on with these this distillation towers but we've got the pump jacks in action here. You know, I'm going to go to my office and show you guys how they work. So basically it ends up being that lever down, these two levers up. We are basically full on all the fuel which is why I've stopped the production. But we've got two pump jacks here which definitely go down and um, get the fuel basically. So I believe there's a thing that has bitumen. I believe this guy contains the bitumen. Yeah. This guy's full of waste bitumen, which is why it's getting spat out. So this is the distillation tower. Um, is there a way to interface with this guy? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, here there is. So crude oil comes in here and it gets distilled into the three fractions. So we've got, I believe this is probably petrol. Um, in fact, I can get a bucket actually and show you what we're actually producing. So we've got uh, lubricant, we've got diesel, and we have gasoline. Good old gasoline. Good old gasoline. See, so, 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 so you know, we've got some pretty nifty stuff going on. I'm gonna go and shut this guy down. Some basically, full on all the fuels, so we don't really need any extra. Um, yeah, I think that's basically the general gist of it. I mean, if you, you know, if you want to get see the specifics of how we built this, you know, go free to check out the actual video itself. Yeah. I want to see the housing estate probably came next. No, housing estate was the last thing we did. That was episode seven. No, that was the last thing we did before. Oh, so, the, so um, it'll be the Westy Spoons area. I, I feel like we should probably do the Mitt Morgans episode, and we should sort of combine this the town centre area. We should ignore the chronological part for this bit. Okay. So Westy Spoons is what we built next with Ethan. I don't, I'm yeah. Quick. In um keeping in theme, because Ethan did build most of Westy Spoons, I feel like he should be behind the counter of his yeah. creation. I, I do, like, I am kind of imp like, impressed, like, so I'm very impressed with the way this build came out, actually. It's very kind of authentic, or not, I suppose authentic's probably not the right word, but it's very fitting with the whole Weather Spoons pub kind of feel. So it's very sort of cramped in this area kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is the overflow area where you go when there's not enough seats downstairs, I think. Yep, pretty much. We've also got a nice bar down here. Um, the old, well, I think the outside of this build definitely needs a bit of a spotlight, though, because I'm a really big fan of the way this building looks. I'm not sure about you. Yeah, but I, I just mean, think it's a really cool looking build. I think I've got to admit, when it comes to skills as a Minecraft builder, Ethan probably takes the top spot when it comes yeah, to. I would agree. People I know. I feel like McMorgan's is another build. That I, I feel. It's a very different contrast to Westy Spoons, but I kind of like it for almost the opposite reasons, really. It's very sort of in your face and bold. If I do time set, um, wrong value there. I'm not even putting a slash in, I'm being a bit. So I think at night it looks really kind of cool, if you ask me. Yeah, Westy Spoons also looks still quite cool across the road. Like I said, I've not had natural McDonald's myself for quite a while now, but. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of a cool to have a bit of a rendition to, to uh, sort of a more classic style of McDonald's, I suppose. Um, so obviously we've also got the main seating area here with the alternating colour with the seats and tablecloths. Um, we've then got the area back here which has got like mixers and stuff and grills and that kind of thing. Uh, what else? So we've got the toilets here. 
So you know, just some basic male and female toilets. If you want to um, look inside the toilets, we have working mirrors and sinks. Indeed, indeed. Upstairs, we just have some sort of overflow seating area again, similar to sort of what Wesley Spoon has. Have you um, already showed the kitchen? Yes, I've been to the kitchen. Okay, so I guess the next thing we'll go to the arcade. I was going to go and show them Gucci next. Or oh, Goofy. Yeah. Goofy. <laughs> um, nothing to do with Gucci whatsoever. No, this is more of your um, budget clothing shop. Yep, so we've just got some NPCs that are all over the counter. I mean, there's po probably a robbery or something going on in here. But, um, <laughs> So I, th I think next I'm going to bring sort of music and arcade stores would be next. So let's do the music store first. So it's not fully furnished as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we still haven't finished the uh, music store yeah. since you saw it two episodes so, ago. So we've got some album covers. We've got some. Uh, yeah. we've, we've got music light behind the counter. We've got a chest with um, just the uh, album covers. Yeah. Um, upstairs, it's just it's not been fully furnished yet. But it's just kind of like a bit of a overflow area again. Built in the arcade, um, which you built. Like. I did, yeah. We've got the mini football table, which I'm amazed you actually did this with the air hockey table. Uh, I don't know how you quite had the patience to build this thing, which is a little bit, but uh, um, definitely a uh, bit of a feat, I must admit. Yep, we have the uh, the Pac Man machines. Yeah, so we've got Miss Pac Man and Pac Man. And we've got the dance floor machines. Yeah, and of course, if you ever want to fight me on DDR. I feel like next probably the train station. I mean, it, it, should, and, should we give a, a quick shout out to our city centre and yeah, the well, we're not actually, yeah, we've got the plum statue and you're know, the main city centre, I suppose. I think yeah, as much as we built this last episode, I think the train station does need a bit of a spotlight. Um, pretty cool, in my opinion. Anyway, we've got the teleportation room, which leads you down to the pit on the other side. I'm not going to go down the rail since this is just you know a tour of the world. If you want I to mean, go see this, I feel like we could go down the rail just to show them, and if they don't want to see the full rail. I just think it. I just there. think in terms of time of the video. Um, okay, well yeah, maybe, I think, maybe we'll yeah. do it at the end. Yeah, I think if you you know if you want to go and uh, watch the rail, you know, I'll leave a, uh, a link to the playlist in the box below so you guys can go and check out that in video in individually. So I think I'll go back up to the teleportation well, of the city train station and give you a bit of a tour. It's not an overly fancy building. But you know, I think it serves a purpose. We've got the information desk and the actual mine rail here, which goes underground, leads you down to the tunnel. So I think the last thing to show you guys will be the housing estate. Now it's kind of a a lower to middle class estate, I want to say. Yeah, I mean, some of the houses across the road kind of glitched. Yeah, I mean, we did world edit a lot of these. I think the first house is the only one that works 100%. But um, if you want to come see my house my house is number nine I believe that is that opposite mine probably I have the oh sorry edited it to make you better ring the doorbell come in oh so you have a, an elevator rather than ah, I see so you've got a bit of a modern touch with the elevator nice I mean I think your mirror is a little bit broken yeah I still haven't uh, we've got a plumber come in to fix the bathroom <laughs> you also appear to have a floating uh, towel rail <laughs> yeah, well, and oops, y y your shower is also facing <laughs> the wrong way. You can't actually enter the shower. But <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't had a shower in, in you've, years. You've also, you've also got no doors, and your TV isn't actually showing anything. That's oh, fine. The the kitchen's still fine. But yeah, I think I'll show you guys sort of the, the more stock model of a house. So I think number three is probably a stock model house. I think. Well, we can show your house. Uh, number four. Well, I mean, I'll, I guess we could. I mean, it's the exact same as number three, really. But I think I'll enter through the garage. I'll enter through the door. So we've also got uh, the rock on the TV. We've also got the GIF URL there. We've got my amazingly comfortable red sofa. Got a fully furnished kitchen. And the other bedrooms are pretty much the exact same. I mean, I've got working doors and stuff. So we've also got the aubergine on the TV. We've got the kids' bedroom over here. And the bathroom, this is basically what the bathroom should look like when it's not broken. So there's the mirror and stuff, there's the working shower. Pretty cool if you ask me, actually. Uh, and then we've also got the bathroom cabinet. So I believe that's basically the entire world, Corey. Would you agree? Well, um, we haven't quite showed the pit in its full glory. I mean, I guess we could go over to the pit, actually. Um, so I feel 
as the last thing to do in this episode, we should ride the train. Oh, you want to ride the train in the video? I think I'll ride it up from the pit all the way up. I think. I yeah, think we didn't quite show the full perspective of that in the last episode, did we? Yeah, I think if you got, you know, like I said, if you want to go see more details of the actual train and stuff in its full glory, then you guys can go and check out the uh, last episode. So let's go and ride one of these. <laughs> second mic out here. So I think that basically concludes the video guys. I mean yeah. so basically everything from nine episodes. So this is a year's work. Basically yeah. I mean in terms of time since we started to time recording this video it's nearly been a year. Yeah I mean it's not had a year because it's spent on it though. I mean, so it's, it's the 7th of July as recording, 7th of July 2019 as of us recording this video. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye from Pet and Plot. And how am I Built an empire of stars.